Hey guys, and welcome back to another Road to Rank 1 in 1v1. So today we're actually jumping back into these games and we're around rank 30. Uh, it's been a while since I played some of these matches, so I played a few more on stream lately and uh, we're pushing back up on the leaderboards. Now stay tuned throughout the video because I will be showing a little bit of a new map that's coming out, another sumo map. I know you guys really like those maps. So I created a third one and this one actually has working boost pads and a little bit of a unique mechanic. So I'm excited to show you guys this and it'll be recorded quite soon. Let's get right into the 1v1 games. Hope you guys enjoy. Oh, yeah, Quell. I think he's Quell with the, the zero underscore zero. I don't think it's Quello, but he's gonna get that boost for me. Get behind here. All right, a bit of a poor catch by him, so I'm able to just attack, get a free possession. He had the boost advantage off the kickoff, but he ended up wasting it with that single touch there. So was able to just attack him pretty quickly. Let's see how this kickoff goes. It's always a interesting journey trying to understand someone's kickoff in 1v1. I'm going to fake this because he's pretty far away. He's going to try and bump him maybe. That works just fine. If he attacks this, I should be okay. He went too high, yeah. So that way I could tell that he was just not going to be uh, on target there. Just gonna keep pressure on the ball. It's a good possession by him. Trying to get the ball here. Okay, actually, pretty good save. This boost will come up for me. There you go. Gotta bump him here. If he goes for the boost, he's out, out of the game. Smart run to leave it. It's a bad throw away, though. Pop it out. Waste a lot of his boost to do that touch. It's a good save. Really good defense. He knows not to attack that, which is smart. Good save again. It's gonna be good for him, unless he doesn't get the catch. If he got the catch, it would have probably been a goal. It's a good attempt on that. Interesting. That's a good touch by him. To be right. He tries to shoot this. Oh, he just got the boost for me. I'm surprised. This guy's pretty aggressive. It's a good bump too. So there, like, he missed the ball, so he kind of baited me a little bit. I probably should have just stayed back and waited for him to pop it, because he's got me beat. And then he got a good bump on me as well. All right. Pretty neutral kickoff. He does get boost though. Oh, why? What? Such a wide turn. I thought he was gonna go in uh, a little bit earlier than that. Oh, over his head. Let me get a bump on him. There we go. Should be open. Yeah. So there, he left himself a little bit exposed. Going up that wall. Whenever you go up a wall like that, you're gonna be slowing yourself down a little bit, so a player can run at you. And get a demo pretty easily. Really good 50-50 off the kickoff. And we get a free goal. There he was a little bit too wide. I was right on the center of the ball. I try to f I try to flip in a way that my car contacts the ball right in the center. And then get the follow through. Sort of like that. He did the same thing that time. It was better. It's a good pop. He probably could have got my boost if he recovered a little bit faster. But he didn't. Pop it over him. He's going to have enough boost to get back to that. Just challenge early this time. I didn't challenge early last time, so he might not expect it. It's a good fake. This guy likes to set up very, very like heavy dribbles, so I, I've noticed that if I attack early, he might be in trouble a little bit. There we go. Now he thinks I'm going to be going early every time, so I can just bait it, bait it out a little bit. I hope that he doesn't get this. It's a good touch. I end up bumping him enough that maybe I can get back. Because the ball will roll into the corner. Hit that off the wall hard so he has to bring it to the other side. There we go. Just put it around him. 
I think a lot of ones players what they struggle with is uh, avoiding off target challenges. Because I just put the ball around him there because he was, he was trying to dive for goal. And uh, he just put it around him and he doesn't expect it. I'm going to go far away from the ball here see if I can get a decent 50-50. It's a bad touch by me. Get the boost from him. Just stay, stay pressured on the ball here. I'm trying to get the, ball, the boost first and bring it back. Keep possession. Just get one touch here. Maybe chip it off the wall. Make it pretty awkward. There we go. He's pretty far away from the ball, so I just had to get a touch to the right side. Uh, once he went off the backboard, he kind of, kind of doomed himself. Didn't get the boost. It's a good pop. It's pretty far away from the ball. Once again, these touches aren't too too dangerous if I just stay close. I bump him. Could be off target. Takes an immediate shot, which is fine. He's leaving the ball now, so I'll just take this. It's a good save. Pretty big overcommit by me, but I am four goals up. Oops. I also missed the wave dash, so. There we go. Good save. He'll go immediately. He got faked by me, I guess. Just gonna keep holding possession. And that's a big overcommit by him. It's not gonna be a goal, because he'll probably get back before me, but I'll just wait here because he's gonna hit it. And then it's on target. No! Good save. <laughs> Alright, so that's the first game. Not too bad. Let's see if he can dribble this all the way. Never mind. Basically, just uh, for. For this game, all I did was just be patient on his dribbles um, until I realized that he was just going to try and get a really heavy possession the whole time, and then I just challenged really early. So I always try to adapt to the player in front of me. And uh, his kickoffs weren't the strongest, but they were pretty decent, so I had to be a little bit careful about my positioning on the ball. We got J-Pow. It's a pretty good player. I think Stromboli, did they just, they didn't move up into the RLCS, but they were close to it, I believe. I don't know if I scored that. I might have slotted it though. Oh, I miss. Close. To be right, I got some space here. Oh. There we go. Pretty aggressive challenge by him in the corner. I didn't quite get the possession towards net yet, but I'm surprised he challenged so really. I just kept it low. Get the boost from him. He's pretty low now. Get the boost from him again. He's pretty low. I'll just keep the ball close to me here. It's a good save. He's faking it again. It's pretty low. Let's make him force the ball out here. Keep forcing him out until he's low boost and has zero, basically. Try to get the boost from him. Once again, very low. It's my first mistake there. Slip up off the ball there. Oh, he missed. Get the boost from him again. So, if, so far, he's struggling a lot to keep possession or keep boost. Good save. He's stuck in net though. Good save again. It's a good shot. Good finish. So, so far he's been holding up the defense. I need to try to go more for more aggressive stuff. He's got four saves already. There we go. Good possession. Go for an air dribble bump maybe. There we go. He went too far out to the right side. Gives me a lot of room to make those plays. Uh, I know a lot of people in the in the fusion tournament have been complaining about air drill bumps, but honestly, like there's a way to there's a way to deal with them. Ouch. Oh, I made him own goal. There's definitely a way to deal with them. You need to loop out a little bit wider. And then go higher up on the ball. 
If you watch all the good 1v1 players, they all do a pretty good job of avoiding it. Even though people say it's unstoppable. Definitely not an easy uh, mechanic to avoid, but... Alright, he's gonna touch this. And give me the ball. I missed that, that open shot, but... Should be alright. Let's get defense again by him. I'm gonna go an immediate shot this time. That way he has to struggle to get it clear. Take the boost from him. Yes. Drill him into the side. There we go, just keep it low. I faked the musty flick, so he went a little bit too high on the challenge, and then I'm able to just bring it down to the floor. Not too bad. Been winning every single kickoff pretty convincingly here, so. That was a pretty bad catch by me, but ended up working out. He doesn't have to hit that, it's already bouncing off the backboard, so he would have had a pretty uh, free play off the backboard with the momentum of the ball if he didn't touch it. And he's so far out of net there. And the one thing that JPI was struggling a lot with is keeping boost, his boost management, and then also just holding onto the ball. Which both aren't really like qualities you need for 3v3 to be a decent player. Like he's just he, like people in threes they make a lot of good challenges that just get the ball off of you. Like right here he's the possession just too far away from him so I'm able to ta challenge. Almost. Keep the ball close to me. He's gonna have that that boost now but should be alright. Oh, he didn't go. I didn't go high. Oops. I wanted to pre-jump his uh, his high touch. A lot of three v three players will go for air dribbles. Surprised he didn't actually. It's all good though. All right. It's a pretty bad shot. It's not powerful enough or high enough. He's able to bring it back in pretty quickly. Not a great landing by me. Yeah, I think he missed the boost. Yeah, so that's gonna send him too far out of the game, and then I'm able to score. I'm not sure if JPow plays many ones, but maybe for the the fusion tournament. I actually don't know who's in the NA side, but maybe he's in the fusion tournament. He's trying to practice a bit of ones. I see there that he was too far away. I actually didn't think he'd have enough speed to demo me. I was gonna try and avoid him. Right, let's see what it is. It's too high. All right, it's pretty good. So far, so good. Seven to two. Um, yeah, I think he's just not holding on to possession enough, or like the boost management. I think there's a lot of work that he could do on that, and that might help his three v three as well. Like, people don't realize that the the stuff you do in one v one is actually pretty helpful for uh your the, the main game mode. I guess if you want to call it standard three v three. Um, still worth putting some effort into, you know, getting possession or making good touches in 50-50s that are safe, uh, which can lead into some better play in 3v3. As promised, here's a sneak peek of the new sumo map that's coming out quite soon. We're actually going to be recording this tonight, the day that I'm recording this. But I hope you guys are looking forward to that. It's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. Oof, we got candy. It's 1495. It's a pretty good opponent. There we go. Good 50-50. Stay with the ball here. Just about a 50 I'm in. There we go. Holy. <laughs> I thought he saved it. I just tried to get in front of the ball and then hold on to the 50 50. Boost into it. We go for the boost here. Just able to stay with this. He's going to pop it away, which is fine. Do the ball away. Oof. Off him out a little bit. Pop it over his head. That way he has to bring it back. He probably have the boost here. So I'm not going to bother challenging too far. Get the boost now too. It's pretty low. Let's get in the way. Should be decent enough not to get scored on here. 
There we go. Let's bring it in. Bait him in that, that back corner boost. Gives me enough room to bring the ball back towards the net. I made a pretty heavy touch towards the corner to follow through with the boost, but I just cut it off pretty early. There we go. Saw him lead a little bit too far to the left, so I just pulled it left as well. And then when he goes right on his side, or left on his side, I guess, he uh, flies off the ball. He tried a little bit heavier that time, which actually just makes it a little bit better. I'm going to just posture here. Should be all right. Just going to get in the way of this. I meant to double that, but it's all right. Just going to keep it close. Let's get the boost. Oh, he bumped me off, which kind of sucks. This puts me in a really weird situation. I don't want to back off too far. I don't want to go right to net because he might air dribble bump me or something. Yeah. Oh, thanks for the 100 bits, fat boy. Uh, so I actually am streaming this right now, so I just got bits from somebody. I appreciate that. All right, let's try to stay close here. He might try to demo me or something. It's decent. Can't really finish, though. I don't want to give him too much room to do an air dribble bump again, but kind of have to sacrifice. You can see that he's going too far. That's what I'm talking about if you go wide on those air dribble bumps. You can actually just avoid it. That's a good 50-50. Not doing anything too threatening here. Surprised he went on that. He almost got scored on. There we go. Just fake that a little bit. Force the boost. Avoid the demo. A good, uh, a good avoidance. Ouch! No, that was a good bump. I should have just uh, attacked it a little bit earlier when he landed, because he ran out of his flip, so he just caught it instead. Look at the boost here, just fine. He's got a good solid touch. He's gonna follow through with this as well, so I gotta be a little bit careful. What is that? I think he's too far out of the play. It's a good shot. Could be over though. Yep. I'm trying to go for the demo. I can see that he's doing that. So I'm just going to avoid it. Pretty good pressure play. I can tell that he's going to just Go for the uh, the high challenge. Should be too far for him. There you go. Perfect shot. He looped a little bit wide on that one fake challenge. So I can just shoot it far side once I get that nice air dribble. I mean, uh, bounce dribble going. And uh, that's where I can take my opening. It's a very small opening, but you can see it when you get used to the 1v1 plays. I challenge right away. He's not used to that. There we go. A little, little fake action. Get a free goal. Just changing it up so it makes it really, really difficult for him to know what I'm going to do. Because usually I would just flick that immediately, but I can just fake it a little bit and then I'm going to go off the wall here so it doesn't demo me and then stay with it. Try to stay with this again. I think I hit that too high. Oh, perfect. I probably could have just hit that a little bit more flat on the back of the car instead of Instead of so high on the flick. <laughs> Backpack, thanks for 100 bits. Appreciate it. Let's see what he does here. I'm gonna actually go early on the challenge. Ended up bouncing me pretty far out. I need to go back as soon as possible. It's a good shot, good finish. So it's pretty dumb play by me. I could probably just held on to the 50 50. 50 50 did go pretty poorly. Alright, nice. Oh, is it high enough? Bumped him a little bit. Oh, that's unlucky. He's very low. He's going to try and stay close to the ball here. I don't really care if he touches this. Because he's very low. He's got zero. Maybe even 20 or something. Looping really wide. I'm going to fake this. There's no reason to touch the ball right now. 
still got that mid boost, but my flip already led me one way. He keeps trying that, but it's not really working because he's going too close to me. Should be fast enough. And there we go. So that'll probably close it off here. We got 30 seconds left. He ended up forfeiting, but I hope you guys enjoyed that video. We're moving up on the leaderboard pretty quickly here. I know I didn't really play the ones games for a couple days, actually like five days. So I'm actually probably at the same position on the leaderboard at the end of these games. Go check it out real quick. So once it updates, we're actually at uh, 32 on the leaderboard. So I definitely need to play more 1v1 games more often. It seems like the, the ranks are going up and up and up. Uh, but we're not too far off from the top. Uh, we're only about 120, 124 points away. So getting closer. I can taste it. Catch you guys in the next video.